Welcome everyone, Star ah. Wars Acolyte Episode 3, the famous Lord. one, or the infamous one I should say. In mere moments, hours, I've seen everyone sharing their opinions about this. This is the apocalypse for Star Wars now, they've done it. This is it. Again? Yeah, <laughs> it's like the Dang. fifth one, but yeah. nevertheless, effective, because there's always some other element, some other place to fuck everything up. We're going like to find out what that is Shady today. Sands, everyone there was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's funny you say that in Fallout Season 2. Who knows what they'll fucking nuke next? One thing we've learned, I suppose, with Disney Star Wars is that just when you think they've hit rock bottom, it can always get worse. Oh, yeah. There's uh, always something we, else. I'm reminded of that one ability Unicron had that I can't remember the name <laughs> of from the tournament, where it was like recursive Armageddon states. That sounds about right. <laughs> Right for Star Wars, right about now. You just spawn <laughs> Armageddon's at will. Why not? Yeah, it's just constantly going back and forth through different apocalypses. It would be even funnier if that was their intended goal, as in, like, they went right in this, like, should we throw an Armageddon episode in? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Who've we got? And it's like, yeah. we haven't fucked up Yoda yet. Ooh, <laughs> let's do that. Ooh, exciting. What a tantalizing prospect. That would be What great. if we made Yoda a cuck? Ooh. <laughs> to be honest, they would probably be like, well, he kind of is in the original trilogy. If you just, and you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> We're just like, expanding oh. the character in a logical way that makes sense. Yeah, if you just look him through the lens of Yoda... Lens. I like how the response to how bad all of this shit is, all the Disney Star Wars stuff, is always for them to try to tear down the original trilogy or whatever. Yep, it made. We saw that. We saw in the first couple episodes, like you, you guys are pretending like you're Star Wars fans, but you seem to actually hate all of it. <laughs> um, before Disney took over, that that's weird. That's weird. They're the same people who fucking hated Rise of Skywalker when it came out. They were like, "Hey, you ruined TLJ." It's like, whoa, 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 Star Wars fan, hold on there. You're supposed to like all of this shit, okay? We've heard a lot about this episode like two weeks before the series came out. We heard, you know, episode one and two, they're shit, but three is really where it, it gets as bad as you can imagine. So with all the freaking stuff flying around on social media, I'm looking forward to actually seeing this thing and understanding what the context is. And, you know, it's maybe... It's going to be fascinating uh, to find out what the fuck, what happened to this episode that set the internet on fire, at least somewhat. Maybe we'll like it. Maybe we'll uh, like it, yeah. <laughs> maybe, uh, yeah. Are you folks ready to begin this adventure? Yeah, I guess so. Mm. Let's I'm go! I'm ready! Woohoo! I love Star Wars! Oh, thank it's goodness, it's a longer episode! Oh, that was bad, actually. Oh, it is oh, longer. Oh no, it's 42 minutes. Ugh. Hey, look, it's still not as long as a Halo episode, <laughs> so that's nice. It's oh, messy. yay! Face the past, Master Torben. Oh no, old man Youngman. Forgive me. Finally, we can discover Master Torben's guilt. Was this thing that he picked up, like, CGI? Because it looked like it didn't quite track on his hand right. Perhaps. Well, that would be really awkward if that was the case. Of all the things is CGI, <laughs> a little bottle of green poison. <laughs> just the, the fucking special effects guy's like, we can't make it green, okay? We tried. We just can't. <laughs> Man, I sure hope she didn't miss on purpose. That would she be did. really yeah, Everything that she does afterward is a little bit on you. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be acknowledged. Probably not. No. Oh, by the time we get to the end, I'm sure uh, Osha will be like, you know, maybe the maybe the Jedi kind of uh, kind of deserved to. Work. We're gonna have to find out what they did. And then all the writers pat themselves on the back, like, what? The, look at this brilliant idea we had. What if the Jedi suck? What it's a great idea. Wars. They do not have the teeth to manifest anything that could be bad enough for the Jedi to have done to justify the things we've seen. Like a guy killing himself over it? No, I don't buy that either. Well, just one guy like threatening to kill innocent people in order to distract the Jedi so that she can kill her. That's pretty bad. Oh, how pleasant. It's so idyllic and beautiful. Yeah. She had the same hair back then, too. <laughs> In Her episode hair is not three, changed. they're doing the flashback episode in episode three. Are we going to get the full story now? I don't think so. I'm sure, it'll be yeah. tragic. I think we will, actually. I think we are going to really? get the full story now that they're doing it, yeah. How much oh, of this episode man. is going to be flashbacks, you think? Well, I guess it's you... the whole thing, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, we literally one? just. Ripping the wings off of butterflies. That yeah, the standard. Like, like torturing animals. Outfit. Come on now. Buntu tree so beautiful, but Osha, it's dangerous. You're so beautiful. Acting. That's the poison oh. they used in the last episode, right? The tree. Bunta, really? This is Bunta from my home planet. Buntu tree so beautiful. The character just declared well, it was from her home planet, and now we've seen it. And they're like, ah, yes, set up a payoff. Stop. We already felt like it was not subtle at all already, and then they did it even worse. Well, you were oh, doing that the earlier. Theo, you know, they had evil music behind it the second time, so that's how you know it was bad. Ah, bad. right. You wear something different to help other people maybe distinguish the two of you? No. Do you have any semblance of individuality? At this point, it's probably the, the, the like... fucking culture they're a part of forced this on them. 
I give you you. I give you you. And you give me me. And you give me me. Oh, this is the secret handshake thing, yeah. Yeah, the thing they, the vision that they did in the first episode. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I feel like they would have seen her. Oh my god, Saul, oh, what you doing? Oh, how did you sneak doing? up without them seeing you? That's really weird oh, that they would use invisible spells. It's oh. a forest with a lot of empty space. A lot of empty space, but oh well. It's the Willow Forest. He's a Jedi. He, uh, he's in sneaky the trees. like that. Serene music playing. Here's the scenery. The Great Wall. Wow. That's a that's big fucking wall. Big. Yeah, that's really fucking... Holy oh. shit. Wow. That's a feat of engineering. Look at them. See the red and the blue moon in the background? Yeah, in the background, the Acolyte logo uh, Oh, red for, logo for bad thing. and blue every for good. Every place and then, yeah. looks oh. like it's 80% yeah, similar to every other place. This, this place immediately reminds me of the place we are in last episode. Yep. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have to build too many sets, all right? It's like every single set that they have is just a city with, like, a bazaar where people are selling stuff in, like, yeah. huts. That's this is Star like Wars. Set There's this never, like, an actual do city. something. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let them have some spice creams. Mama! How come Mama. the streets aren't fucking paved? How come people aren't don't don't have like gadgets and doodads and knickknacks and everything's just like this slightly futuristic D and D generic place? Go, meet me in the common room for your training session. Why'd you say it like that and give us that look? Any sign of the visiting Jedi? None. Scouts think they've moved their ship inland. Any sign of the visiting Jedi? I told you this planet would be safe haven for our coven. Are they? Oh, even <laughs> her ears for the exposition. Spicy. So the Jedi are on the planet looking for them right now. I feel like, like you guys are they fucked. They just show up and yeah, they just show up and be like, well, they've oh, got ships. The Can they not fly and just spot your giant fortress eventually? I've always deferred to you when raising the twins. If you're too lenient. A firm hand is required. Oh, this dialogue yeah. Yeah. is so exposing the transparent. So um, we're doing a rewatch of House of the Dragon to get ready for the second. <laughs> Season, and it's amazing. We were watching some <laughs> episodes last night. So going from House of the Dragon to this, it's like day and night. All living things are connected by the same thread. Oh shit. Oh god, here we go. Oh, here we go. A thread woven through all of existence. It's a thread, okay. Okay, now sure. work with that idea. What do you mean by it's a thread? Okay. Say now you try, aren't you? Some call it a force. I claim to use it. Claim. They do. The thread is not a power you wield. You just did it. Well, you, well, you did, it's you clearly a power you fruit. wield. Like. You just did it with the fruit. Pull the thread. Change everything. Pull the thread. What does that everything. mean? This just sounds what like semantics. It ties you to your destiny. What does that mean? For fuck's mean sake. It ties you to your destiny. And to others, apparently. And, like, the force connects us, binds us. It's like, this is just what we Remember call the force. We are. We are good. We're, we know Are you acting best. or doing I just, I'm, I'm amazed that she said, like, some will call it a force and use it like a weapon. They'll claim that. Then she does that. How is this not using it as a weapon? Oh wait, is it? This is all chicks in here. There's no dudes. This is a lesbian coven of witches, which I suppose makes you wonder how they have children. Are there any other children? Girls. Oh, We're you fighting. silly girls! Stop being silly. This is like so over the top, like retarded. <laughs> Your enemies will not warn you before they attack. You. Oh my goodness! Oh, you could have hit their okay. head on the back of the stairs there. Yeah, that, that was, been uh, very bad. Remember, right not a there. weapon. Um, not not so, a force. Not a weapon. Somebody needs to call child protective services or some shit. Wait, wait that looks like walking. a choking motion. What's she doing there? Look proud of herself either way. Excellent, May. Was it excellent? I don't. What was that? Oh, see, Osha's the nice one. May's the more powerful one, maybe. I mean, her force didn't seem that good when she was fighting Trinity. It was like okay. It was well, fine. I mean, it was pretty. It was really basic kind of stuff. Yeah. But she picks up the knife. It was really just basic stuff. all around. There's nothing clever or interesting about it that would lead me to and believe when she that fought Soul, her whole life. she like didn't stand a chance. Yeah, Soul outclassed her easily on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing that I see leads me to believe that this is something they've trained for their whole life. What is troubling you, Osha? She's nervous about tonight. Oh, uh, look, the next scene is like, yeah. what is wrong with you? I am <laughs> nervous. Explain to me why you were nervous. Well, you see, it all began. <laughs> She's scared. Let your sister answer. I don't want to do the ascension. Are you nervous dialogue? about ascension? I do not want to do ascension. But that's how we become witches. I don't know if I want to be a witch. Ascension is when we become witches. Like, I don't know if I want to be a witch. Come what on. What do you think we're trying to get across with this? I don't know. I really what could tell. possibly be happening? Of course you want that. No, 
You want that. Go. Just in case there's it. an omniscient camera recording this, <laughs> let's explain it so that yeah. whoever's watching can understand what's going on. I don't know. This is the most clever shit I've ever seen. I, you guys, this is peak Star oh, no. Wars. Right are we going to have, have a conversation about like why you don't want to be a witch? or The thread tied you together before you were born. Tell her you love her. The thread tied you together before you- I thought it tied all of us. I guess they're included yes, in you that. did say that. Is it tied more because they're twins? Maybe. Well, are, are Maybe they, they trying to explain why they had those force visions, you know, like in episode one and episode two? Because they're each other's destinies. Mm. Well, isn't the obvious follow-up to Osha to be like, why don't you want to be a witch? And now we're going off on this random bullshit tangent. It's like, no, 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 tell me. Why, why do you not want to be a witch? What is it about it that you don't want? What would you like to do instead? You think you want something different than life in this coven, but that is because you are young. Wait, what? That is some, you, that is some cultist like, we dialogue know right there. You're just a young retard. You're gonna <laughs> you, be you don't know better, retard. You, you oh, will, though. The galaxy is not a place that welcomes women like us. Witches who have the abilities we do. It's not a place that welcomes women like us. What are the I witches mean, it do? certainly welcomes like Jedi who use the Force. So yeah, I, they like them a lot. Is the thing that they're describing actually the Force, or is it some new twist on the Force that they wanted? But, to I mean, from what we've show. seen, it so looks there, like the Force. There has been like in Span the universe content for decades. There's been different groups of force users that of course. call it something different and interpret it a different way and stuff like that, whether it's the Death of Miri witches, whether it's the Falanasi. So that's not really a new concept, but... Mm. What are you trying? Stop! Don't look! Then why are you doing it here, you fucking retard? <laughs> yeah, what else are you gonna look at? It's not like there's a TV on or something. I share <laughs> everything with you and you hide things from me. I share everything with you. And you hide things from me or run off alone. I do yeah, not look. like the duo thing. I want to do everything together all the time. But why? Because we're not the same. Of course we are. No, it feels that way because we're the only children here. They are the only That's children. Fucking... Why would it oh. feel that way even? You have a whole planet. Well, they're not allowed outside the walls apparently. Don't you wonder what could be out there? Everything I need is here. Oh, okay. That was, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the right. typical, you know, child. I think there's more to life than this. Is the moon up you know, there? Like, one is one is blue and one is red, like yeah. the logo for the show. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's all it's all very really simplistic weird. in that way, right? Like the one of them yearns for something more, the other one wants to conform to this Who culture. Built this? Did the witches build this? It was obvious shit. Oh, this is so lame. Interpretive dance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 They're really into this. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know that when they were doing this, they're like, hopefully, it looks great when it's finished. Oh, this looks oh, like they were mistaken because that was really weird. <laughs> why, why are they dancing in front of the bottomless pit? This why looks do like they trailer shot for weird. Why do they have a bottomless pit? Mom, well, don't you? Mom, how come they think? <laughs> I, how does the, why does the galaxy think we're a bunch of fucking freak weirdos? Do like they do when you buy why a house. One of the features is a bottomless, dug out pit. bottomless <laughs> pit. And how did they get out of the pit after they dug it? Big up, stupid. We were hunted, persecuted, forced into hiding, all because some would consider our power dark, unnatural. Dude, are oh, you? Kidding? Position again. Here we go. We were on the brink of extinction. We were blessed with a miracle. Dude, exposition. It's oh, so we bad. Of course. Well, you know, if you had some dudes around, you wouldn't have to worry about extinction so much. She might as well just be recording the Coven and you as like you know a video <laughs> the series. The Coven and you. Oh, th th <laughs> this 90s reminds. Yeah. Uh, as part of our ritual, the... we must re-explain our history. I know you all know. I know you all know. But <laughs> we got to. Got to. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> Remember the ceremony under the eye of Aldani. Come, claim your destiny. She said you could like make your choices, but then it's also everyone's destiny to be doing these things. How do you uh, how do you reconcile that? Give me something interesting. Well, remember the one girl said she doesn't want to be one, but they never addressed it. You can't separate the yourself from the thread. The moons are about to come together. That must Ooh. be like the timing of this shit. <laughs> Oh my like, god. See, if I were a part of this, I'd be like, oh, are we, are we a cult? We're a cult. We're a weird cult, aren't we? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I just, I, just miss what? What? I just miss Andor, you know? I'm sorry, but like... <laughs> I miss so... Andor a lot. These are the people that hate the Jedi. The Jedi are a lot less weird than you guys. Jedi are complex. They're still really weird. Protect the secrets of our coven and continue our legacy. I'm so. like... 
eight or whatever. I don't know if I should be making promises of this magnitude. What is she, what is that? Using the force to give her the, the swirly tattoo? It's the yeah. thread, the thread you motherfucker. Oh, her tattoo. Oh, but the other one's gonna <laughs> run away. She's gonna get her tattoo. <laughs> Do I get yeah, that to one was How come CG? mine can't be in the middle like yours? You yeah, why is it so off center? Why'd you do that? Why are you shit at this? Where's hers? I mean, I don't even know if I'd want it in the middle. She should get to choose. Yeah. Can you put it on like somewhere else? I. Yeah, she seems totally into this. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Does that count when you're like, I do? Is, is that consent? Yeah. <laughs> Does that yeah. count? They've sliced the platform. They will be here any moment. They've sliced They've what? the platform. The platform. Oh, lol, Wait, they have bows. They mean, do they mean slice like computer hack? Oh, yeah. Slicing okay. is a term like in Star Wars universe. Whatever they've done, they've been spotted. So, oh, are they here? Why do you have bows? Why do you have bows in Star Wars? <laughs> they also look too high tech for trying well, yeah. to be low tech bows. You know what I mean? They had some glowing lights on them. <laughs> Hey, it's our lads. Look, Trinity's back. Is Look, we got cool? more yeah. carry-on Look, he's moss. got his hair. <laughs> wow, oh, he looks yeah, actually his age now. He looks normal now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so was it just him in makeup to make him look like an old man? Exactly. They, didn't, they, didn't, re really... they didn't recast him even though he had one line. Just recast him, make an older guy. <laughs> this is Tommen from Game of Thrones. It is, yeah. yeah. I am Master Indara, and these are my colleagues. All right, Jedi, what have you got? Colleagues? Yeah, that does feel weird, actually, colleagues. You're trespassing. We thought this planet was uninhabited. Way to de-escalate. Yeah. Yeah. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. That's Dude, just a lie. Way to de-escalate. Calm down. I don't even know what the value of lying there was on Trinity's part. Yeah. We mean you and your coven no harm. And yet here you are, unannounced, armed. Yeah, we thought this planet was uninhabited, but we brought four Jedi to stalk yeah. these children. <laughs> That's, nobody's believing that. <laughs> we are concerned. That you are training children. Concerned that you're training children. For you like, to who's... leave. When do we want it? Now. The Republic lost. Rendok is not a part of the Republic. There are no children here. Why would you lie? Just say that we're not part of the Republic. I'm we're actually, not yeah, I'm not clear on why, why lying about that either. Be but like, also, not allowed to train children? Does, does Do they mean specifically train them in the ways in of the, the force? magic? Mount of magic force? Come out. We won't hurt you. Why would they let them out if they were going to go to the effort and saying they don't even exist? This is not good for you. You lied to them. Well, everyone's yeah. lying to each other and everyone can tell each other's lying. It's really, like, not good. Knowing nothing else, I would trust the Jedi more than I trust these witches right no, now. No, same so far, yeah. But, like, we just need more information. My name is Saul. May we meet your sister. So they know she has okay. a sister already. We're just giving up the ghost. So okay, <laughs> just points. This definitely feels like the writer just gave up on trying to actually have the scene play out in the way that it should. They're just like, oh, no, he let's died. Just yeah. it the way we want. Oh, it. No. Where is their father? They have no father. No. You see that shit? They have we... no father. I've heard that so line. He died. Before. They're mocking. It wasn't there this morning. You're spying on us. They want to take our children. It wasn't? Why would you say that? That just confirms you were spying on them, dude. <laughs> the Jedi do not take children. Hold your tongue, or I cut it out for you. You literally do take children, don't you? It's complicated. Do they get permission? Usually, this is not something the six films really address properly. I would say this is going to be something they want to. Yeah. Yeah. That's always, like, people have always, like, jokingly been like, yeah, the Jedi just weren't uh, abducting kids and training them without anyone's consent. But it's got more of a meme than anything else. Well, and I think that if anyone actually saw a scene where they just come in, kill everyone, and take the kids, like, that would, that wouldn't be accepted by Star Wars fans, I don't think. Would you like to be tested and see if you could become one? Yes. Fine, go with them. Uh, hello? What? What the fuck? If you want your Padawan returned to his right mind, I suggest you all leave. Um, I will cut your head off. Why don't just cut your head off? You, you could attack them now, and you'd, you'd have every yeah, right. Like you're... We don't even know what they're doing to him. You cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. With your permission, of course. With your permission? Wait, so just don't give right, them it. It's not a right, then. And it's not a right. Oh, is that a, yeah, well, how does the right work if it's with your permission? To require someone's it, permission. If the right to ask. And they're not yeah. part of the Republic. <laughs> well, in that case, just refuse. They need your permission. <laughs> 
Also, what the fuck was that? I am. This scene I'm, is this so scene is, fucked absolutely up. Absolutely confused me. Like, what is going on? So Trinity makes it clear we're here by right to ask you to trade your kids, and then she's clearly anti Jedi. Anti even revealing the kids exist, yet she's now agreed to have them tested. The scouts will bring Osha to your camp at midday. Both girls. Why? Why would yeah, why would you agree to that? Also, just casually like, torturing one of the Jedi there. I guess maybe in theory they feel like if they denied them that they would come back like and force like maybe if they just say, Hey, we don't want to go with you even after testing, they'd feel like they come back and force. I don't know. So I just don't really understand. How is it gonna be better for them to submit them to testing? One drop of Jedi blood and the Republic would destroy us. There are only four Jedi. Who would miss them? The <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> why, are, is, why is one of your advisors a retard? <laughs> what the fuck? Osha wants to do it. Osha is a child. Oh, but she yeah. can agree but to join the your crazy. Yeah, yeah, she's old enough to join <laughs> you guys, but not them. I did not bring the girls into this world so we could lose them to a bunch of deranged monks. It is not your decision. <laughs> That's funny. Deranged monks. <laughs> We're not deranged. Look at us. <laughs> you guys are deranged. <laughs> yeah. I carried them. I created them. Oh. Oh my God, there oh. it is. Bro, this is Immaculate Force, force yeah, Conception the... before Anakin. Before Anakin, before Anakin, two kids as well. Fuck that shit, dude. Who is this hoe? <laughs> Who's the old man? If they pass, the girls leave. So was the permission thing a lie then? Can you not deny them? It Even if they passed like the test. The Aren't they too like old for this? Somehow. Aren't they both way too old for this? Even older than the Anakin, The fucking Republic right? felt that Anakin was way too old for uh, starting up becoming a Jedi. I don't know what they will ask you. Whatever's in your heart, you must say the opposite. Well, this is the High Republic. This is back in the good old days. This is the fucking Weeds Republic. Old They're old too high oh, to Oh, but don't you know, this, this is going to explain why Anakin was too old because of what happened here. No one's taking me. The Jedi are bad. The Jedi are good. Oh. Uh, why do you think they're incredible. bad? Why do you think they're good? Why do you think the Jedi are good? This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. This is about power and who is allowed to use it. So are the Jedi Ooh. bad or not then? Who are the Jedi? What I'm confused about is she's not making a good effort to explain to Osha why she shouldn't choose the Jedi. Right now you want to be a Jedi, but as you grow, what you want, it changes, it shifts. How does what she's saying here be reconciled with, yeah, you know, what you might want changes. Anyway, do you want to join this group for the rest of your life unto death? Also, we're, you're surrounded by all these people. There's a chant, there's a ceremony. We dressed you up. Well, no they, peer pressure or anything. They have a strong the aversion to the Jedi. They were hiding from them. Can you tell us why? Yeah, tell us mm. about why you have the perspectives you have. The silly fucking bugs. Because now they've gone to a point That's... where they're submitting their kids to testing from the Jedi. It's like, you guys that... look like you're ready to kill them at one point. Guys, listen, that's going to be the flashback flashback in episode six. You just got to wait for the whole thing. Ugh. I sure hope there isn't another flashback episode. <laughs> it's weird seeing people using bows in a spaceship in like the same... Like shot, also, you know? what a stupid like, plan. Like These kids are often shit at lying consistently. You're gonna try and get them to lie to mind readers. You have to lie. Promise me. I promise. Uh, did you break the 180 degree rule there? Or? That looked a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. It's well, luckily, they, they look distinctly different, so, you know. <laughs> it's also like, I, I'm usually pretty, pretty forgiving when it comes to like child actors and stuff, but having just so much of both of them. Uh, it's like bad. together is, is distracting for this episode. I'm not impressed with the child acting. Hi. Are, are you a dog? I should have sensed you, but I guess we're done with that. That was quick. Well, that, that you could have done something there. Ow, what are you doing? I was just taking a blood sample. Midichlorians. Uh, how? How? How about fucking telling her you're going to do that? <laughs> yeah, like, you know when a kid gets shots? Well, I mean, did the Coven people know that? Because coming back to that, be like, they took my blood. He'd be like, what? <laughs> a mountain. Correct. That was an amount. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't write anything better than that? Did someone tell you to fail this test? Like, we're sorry, you're clearly Force-sensitive, but you're too retarded to be a Jedi. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know she's a kid, but, like, come on. <laughs> like I wasn't. Wait that a minute. I, was... <laughs> I I know that was not the thing I said it was though. Oh shoot! I just revealed I was lying. Oh no! Now we can move on to the next thing that happens. Yep. I was younger than you are, 
and the Jedi tested me. The idea, right, with getting them young is that they don't form emotional bonds with a bunch of family members that you have to tear them from. Isn't that the idea? Which, if you yeah. contextualize that, it sounds a bit creepy, but oh, yeah, yeah. that's the idea. Yeah. <laughs> but Which they did, a, I mean, they did a decent job of in the prequels explaining that, and you kind of see with Anakin why. I found out there were many other children like me. There are other children there? Okay, see, this oh. is getting weird in terms of like, so their parents haven't told them anything outside of their little fortress about like the world. they don't think other children exist? Or... They're not clearly the good guys here at all. The coven seem like a fucking weird-ass psycho cult. Yeah. I want to be a Jedi. Then you must have the courage to tell the truth. The Jedi aren't coming off great necessarily either, which I think is the point of this. I yeah, genuinely, but I'm just like, the I don't biggest care. problem off this planet. is how crap the dialogue people. was. Like, it, it made them look stupid and crazy, which is, yeah. I honestly think the Jedi are doing fine. Like, they showed up and immediately got threatened and insulted like three or four times in a row, and then one of their people got tortured. They needed to explain better what the fuck's going on, you know? Yeah, like, what, why... We need a better idea of why the Coven is so opposed to the Jedi. Yeah, we got nothing really on that, missing. really. Like, we can guess and we can theorize, but we need to know why. This is what I mean, I don't buy it. The fact that they're chill enough to let their kids alone on the ship with the Jedi, surrounded by Jedi, but simultaneously, like, the Jedi are the worst. They teach the wrong things and we need to stay away from them. It's like, what's... Jedi that, that are well known to be able to, like, know when people are lying or not. Yeah, they seriously missed a chunk of this episode explaining almost everything. I told the truth. It was the right thing to do. If only things were so simple, Osha. Have you been lying to us our entire lives? Man used his Jedi mind tricks on her. No, he didn't. Well, I guess he wouldn't his know. His mind tricks told her to say that. <laughs> it's just funny, right? It's like, use the mind trick. No, he didn't. I I want my own life. I don't want to be a witch. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. This is a perfect response to someone not wanting to be a witch. You stop being a violent psycho. Bye. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. Decided by something. Well, it's, it's decided, decided by, by the like thread. thread. I mean, if yeah. we want to get, like, uh, is this destination or predestination? Like, at this point, we're splitting hairs. We're splitting threads, if yeah, you she will. Said you get to make a choice, Osha. Oh. used the word destiny several times earlier. Yeah, yeah. The thread ties you to your destiny. But what the fuck? You well, have to pull on the thread if you want to change your destiny, but then it's not even your destiny then, is oh. it? I'll never see you again. You won't. Thank God, if I never get to see you again, I'm fucking- Oh man, great. I'm gonna go see the Jedi. Fear should not make this decision, Osha. You should. I'm scared of you. I, but fear shouldn't make this decision. It's like, well, what are you not telling me? There are, they said there are thousands of other children like us. Well, How they, come you've been lying to me? They seem very life? friendly, very nice, that they want to help me out. They want to take me to other parts of the universe. Tell me why I shouldn't. How could it even be that you grew up to want to be a Jedi in this community, by the way? I don't even How know. They why would they tell her about it? Yeah. Individuality I, from you. I think it, anyone, it could have given a like bounty hunters that came and she would have wanted to leave because she just wants out. You know, that's what it feels like. I must discuss the situation with everyone here, but we will consider your wish when we do so. Which tells you a lot about We yeah, will consider this. your wish mm -hmm. when we discuss it. So they, there's a chance that they say, even though you want to go, we're not going to let you go. We're going to keep you here against your will. But that's the other thing about the whole that like, you get to choose. You shouldn't let the force decide. It's like, no, you should let me decide at this point. The culture that you've been born into will decide. How is this better than the Jedi? I don't know. They have interpretive dance. Oh, look, Pokemon. They do have a bottomless pit. No yeah, all three evolutions, Rags, you're right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. She's leaving them. Yeah, Fuck I would take them. Right, those then. are pretty great. Those look pretty cool. I'd take them. What a, what a fine, happy time, and nothing will go Did wrong before her... the end of the episode. Why is that the paper that... Why would you make... Pa what? Why is it a triangle? Uh-oh. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. How? I'll kill you. What? <laughs> What, what the, the fuck? What? That's, what the? F I'll that's kill not you. <laughs> Wait, what's she doing? Is she? What? Is she locking her in the room? What the fuck? Why yeah, does it why lock on it... the outside? Because that's how they keep them there. Maybe. This yeah, the that's children. how they trap the children. <laughs> you gonna burn the door? But you this... have all these lights. You have so many lights. That is that's a weird fake light fire. source. Okay. Wow, that was really flammable. Isn't this really all stone? Flammable. What's... What? What is setting on fire? It's, that's stone. What? That is fuck? some good fire. What okay, you know fuck? what? Actually, that's consistent. If you can set fires in space, you can definitely set stone on fire. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true, yeah. Why not just... Walk she actually tried... Like, just mechanic. to be clear, she's actually trying to kill her. It this seems is... like it, which is crazy. Like, what is... Well, I guess what? we were introduced to tearing the wings off of a fucking butterfly, so... But how is this going to be the Jedi's fault, What does then? that have to... 
How is <laughs> your fire spreading how like that? Jedi's how is this happening? Jedi's fault? <laughs> what? Reminder, that, I... reminder that Torben is going to kill himself over what happens here. He killed himself over a little girl <laughs> set of fire. Like well, no, there's more. More will have something you else. You know, if I had never come there, she never would have set that fire. Well, it could be something else then. Maybe the Jedi yeah, done maybe they, something. Maybe they had a cover up or something. Which is screaming. What the fuck is going on up there? Mm. What is going on? Is May the one who is, is killing everybody, or? Oh, oh the whole the facility fuck? is getting destroyed. How oh, did you bump into what? each other? What, what is the happening? fuck is going? I'm What's so lost. Happening? What is going on? <laughs> Wait, is May destroying the entire yeah. facility? The master Sepatur? Oh. Hey! oh, hey, Sol. And how did he get Why here? Why are you here? <laughs> What's going on? When and why? Where's Mama? Mama's dead. What has happening? Oh, what they're all dead. Oh, look. look at all the dead people. What the f Why? Wow. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Wait. What have you the killed all of them? What the, what the, the fuck is happening? <laughs> wow, you didn't use the force to you save him, huh? Yeah, that would have been. The force is pretty good. Good, good thing they that. haven't shown us him doing that at all in this show before. Jesus yeah, Christ. <laughs> They were all dead. How did this happen? How what? Why are they happen? all dead? I don't see. What? So, what? She set a fire that caused like a chain reaction. There's no. Did they just die in an explosion? explosion? What Poison? the fuck, man? Mama! Yeah, she's dead too. I'm not. Here? I'm not seeing any blood. I couldn't see any like lightsaber effects. It, they look just like asleep. Yeah, they look, look like they fell asleep. Look at these fires. Look at these shitty little fires. <laughs> That's what happens. What the hell? Yeah. We are definitely ever, getting a uh, second body. flashback episode for sure. What happened? There's a whole gap what here we haven't been shown. There's this. We're gonna see the other side of it. Later. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll it's the smiley guy. We've seen Osha's has... side. We haven't seen May's side of it. Yeah. Yeah. God, can you imagine if the next episode is just all flashbacks from May's perspective? <laughs> oh, Fuck. Man. She's got sleep apnea. <laughs> Torben's got his scar. Oh shit! He does. So that means, yeah, the Jedi did something. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're not. That would explain why he's there. They ain't telling the us what it is yet, though. attack the Jedi? Is that what the Council decided? They were going to go and try and attack so the Jedi? So if they find out about them creating children with the Force or something, they probably would try to stop them, right? That Confront them, at least. a little bit fucked up. May started a fire. It destroyed everything. So he's saying May started a fire. That's got to be the lie. How? That's the lie, yeah, that's probably. Gotta... I'm fully convinced that is dis uh, misdirection for the audience. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. got to be a lie. Yeah, and he wouldn't feel so much guilt, right? Yeah. Like he said in the first couple episodes, if that's all that happened. I'm guessing the Jedi met with them, and the conversation happened, it got out of hand, and then everyone killed each other. But the Jedi somehow didn't take any casualties, except May one scar. really fucking boring so far. You're a trainer, it's my bottle. <laughs> Man, we gained like nothing for what was 40 fucking for minutes. Me. Yeah. You're going to be okay, oh, shit. No one's gonna be okay. <laughs> no, you're not. This is all, everything's going horribly, horribly wrong. You'll never feel like this, okay? You'll never feel like this again. <laughs> and yet, they will good. continue to release episodes making us feel like this again. Oh, it's the nice tree. No, it's not. It's the evil tree. Oh, it is evil. And then there's May. Yeah, evil twin. Who survived. Somehow. somehow. Fall in. Destroy the tree. <laughs> That's Destroy what I always the say. Tree. Like, if, if fucking Darth Maul, I always go back to that. When they bring Darth Maul back to life after fucking getting cut in half and falling, like Darth Maul can survive that. Anyone can survive literally anything in Star Wars. Pretty much. Palpatine, kind of. The double disintegration, I don't think that'll ever be beaten. This is weird music to play for the credits. I feel like it's a bit of a tonal. Yeah, it's like oh, whimsical. Here. It's like well, what so, just happened? The sun's like whimsical at all, but uh, okay. Didn't her entire family just die in ambiguous <laughs> circumstances. Well, oh, maybe the, like, maybe the movie knows that it's like celebratory they, of all the witches are dead. Thank God. I think right, it might actually be fully spot on. The next two episodes will push the plot forward, and then we'll get episode six as the reverse yeah. flashback. I think so. I think you're right. That's yeah, right. Oh my Man, God. This really <laughs> annoys me with how it was written. Oh yeah. Say. Before even getting into what they've now decided to tell us is true. True. Just the way that they gave us the information was so awful. It seems like it's written by people who have no appreciation for writing as a craft. And I don't mean that just because it's bad, it's just because there's a severe disinterest in making things 
fit together yeah. of like telling a story even or seizing opportunities to make it a little bit more interesting yeah. than presenting it in the most plain way possible characters explaining exactly what they mean and how they feel because that's what we need to achieve in this scene to get everybody caught up a lot of that was just confusing to me that whole conversation between the jedi and those witches was like what was that yeah like every back and forth should have like a reasonable normal person would think that's the wrong thing to say in this situation and when every exchange is like that it, it, it means you have bad writers and it's a problem in hollywood in general i think it's why we're getting so much shit now but a lot of these writers rooms are full of people one that don't know anything about the project they're working on which and if they you're proudly a great, writer, you're a great writer you can learn that and, but specifically leslie headland said she wanted to go out of her way to find marginalized writers and marginalized voices that didn't have a lot of experience when you do that when you start limiting yourself to who can be in the writers room exclusively based on race or gender or sexuality which is what they're doing you're not going to get the best possible crew in there well especially when you grab people who are like yeah i've never even seen star war I, I i don't really know much about it specifically as well using the jedi meeting up scene for the first time it feels about three quarters of that scene is spent just doing shit that doesn't matter establishing whether or not each side has information and they don't do it in an interesting way what i guess i'm getting at is imagine we'd started with let's be just let's just be clear we know you've been running from us we know you have children you know what we do when it comes to incredible children with incredible talents that require direction they require training whatever words you need to try and match that and then they can be like we appreciate the jedi's position but um you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you just broke in here. Just trying to, like, establish a, a baseline, how the both sides feel about the situation, yeah, and then... tell me why the Jedi don't like this. Tell me what they believe will be the result if they allow this to continue. Surely there's protocol by now with dealing with but these like, people. She said, like, it's a really important thing she said when she said, we're not part of the Republic. So they're not bound by Republic laws. And if you're operating outside of the Republic... Yeah, we need to account like, for like, this. That's got to have a lot of stuff. Like, it, this is important. You throw these words out well, there, but just, it does she mean something. Does she mean that they are not actually part of it? Like, they don't belong to it? Or that they don't feel that they belong to it, but they're on a planet that's actually, like, part of the jurisdiction of the Republic? It's a thing that basically all the bad Star Wars shows do, which is that they rely on vagueness to essentially get away with doing whatever they want when it comes yeah. to writing, like, when it comes to plot, I, world I think it's, building, it's like it excuses them from doing harder work as well. You don't have to lay out a bunch of, you know, like laying out a whole set of background information. Take, for example, in probably the Wilder House of the Dragon, George would have been like, I got to figure out whose parents exist and then where their parents are, where their parents were, where their parents were, make sure I know how that line continues, just so that when I have this one line in this one scene, you know, it matches the right family name. And this is not me saying he's like the best writer ever. Of course, we have our criticisms of him, but comparing to this, where it's just like, we're going to avoid saying anything too definitive that relates too far outside of our story because we don't have to deal with repercussions for it. That is the Dave Filoni approach to storytelling, period. So I guess it's not surprising that's just what Lucasfilm is now in general. But like this situation that they were in with force sensitive children and a family that doesn't want them to be taken away, that should have be commonplace, right? They should be dealing with these types of things all the time. The Jedi have been around for thousands of years. I can't imagine yeah, that every protocol. time they go to a family like that, that they're going to be okay with their kids leaving. This shouldn't come off as some like yeah. crazy situation where you need to go to this next level level of breaking in there and all this shit. They should be used to dealing with situations like it. Earlier in the episode, they make it sound like they're on the run, and then you add that whole, like, the universe doesn't like women like us or whatever. It's like, the, the, there's, there's this vague implication. It's like, do the, have the Jedi hunted you? And, like, if that's true, then why wouldn't you immediately be like, get the fuck out of here, we will kill you? Remember they were like, we know the Jedi have landed, but, you know, hopefully we'll be safe here or whatever. It's like, it's just inevitable that they're going to find you. But they keep not telling me that part of the history. What did the Jedi do to you? Be clear, please. Let's run with the theory that the Jedi hunted them down and actually killed them for practicing the Force in a way that they consider a perversion or a disgusting, like, uh, alternate... Like, essentially like the Sith. They're like, this is, this is absolutely wrong. And then they escaped, at least this lot, and they found a planet, and they've made their own little settlement, and now the Jedi have found them again. Their reactions don't match that, that history, you know what I mean? They should be terrified slash aggressive but they're only like halfway there. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, because that's really beneficial for making the plot play out the way that they want it to. Because like if, if in episode six, the Jedi just cut down everyone there, um, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to be in serious trouble. I just don't believe trouble. they would do well, that. If we were to look at this as the first of two episodes that's going to be the backstory episode, what you have here is, from the show's perspective, essentially the best case that they could argue for the witches and, like, a middling case for the Jedi, which means that the next episode is probably going to be, like, arguing a really bad case for the Jedi. You know what I mean? It's set yeah, up this... in a way for the Jedi to essentially fail because that's what they want for the story. It's, it's worth pointing out, this is probably the pro-Jedi flash back. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're, they're, you would be like, yes, we made the case for them. See how nice Soul is? What a good lad. And then the next episode will be them doing something that ruins everything. And well, then dude, um, about it. it'll be like, the Jedi, the, you're pretty shit, aren't you? What's funny is there's like potential to do something interesting. Maybe Osha's version is May talks to uh, Vel, Vel Daka, the uh, Wookiee. Kel something. Kel, Kel something. Baca. Let's just um, call him Kel Baca. It would be a fun opportunity to, to see her watching her interact with him and it's positive and then in uh, May's version it's a negative one right like he's aggressive or something you know like we've talked about this before in other stories you could play with the nar narrator I'm actually now starting to think so I keep seeing it the lady with the horns uh, what if she's uh, Smiler Ren <laughs> I can't believe why, that why, why not uh, I think what that's it? a good guess actually sure. oh, I don't yeah. think it'll be the main lady character. my guess is it's not the main lady if it was going to be anybody it'll no be, no I yeah. think we saw her I dead right but I, I, didn't, well, I don't remember seeing horn lady anywhere even if we didn't see either of them she was presented as I guess the more hostile yeah. of the two towards the Jedi so again another example of how awful the dialogue is right when when May and Osha meet up on the on the bridge that is broken between them <laughs> <laughs> just kill me uh, but there's so many things May should be saying in that scene they both seem to think they're each responsible for something even though May tried to burn her sister to death yeah there's I mean so it much... be pretty obvious to May that Osha how could she be responsible you locked her in a room and set it on fire well, wait wait what so I, I think when she says like what have you done it's related to if you had just lied to the Jedi they wouldn't have come and killed everybody but if you had just my... done this I wouldn't be forced to have done this yeah I yeah mean, and, and i the way they're getting to it i know yeah. that when we look back on this episode one because what's going to happen right is at some point osha and, and may are going to meet up when they're adults and then osha's going to be like you you bitch you killed you killed everybody you fucked up you burned down my whole place the jedi told me what you did and then she'll be like oh did they is that what they told you? Do you even know Jedi what happened? Lie. And then they we get the yeah, flashback or whatever, so, and it's like, it, it turns out, they're just gonna they, have a big argument and everyone kills each other. They're gonna have to work really hard to get me to believe that Jedi would just go in there and kill everybody to get the kids. And it's something that May should have fucking no told way. her on that bridge. She'd have been like, the Jedi just killed everyone. That's what she would say. Yeah. Remember, one of the first lines we heard from May when Indara said that Jedi don't harm unarmed yeah. people or whatever, she said, yes, you do. So, like, yeah. it has to set up that's that it. obviously the Jedi did something fucked up, and that's why the motherfucker There's wants no... to kill himself. It's gotta be some misunderstanding, or one of the witches gets, like, too crazy or whatever, and then a fight breaks out, and so they defend yeah. themselves. But all the all the witches were, like, in, a, like, a dead pile. They were in just, like, one group together. I'm trying to figure out, like, when we reach the end, what were the overarching goals of the writers and I guess Lucasfilm in general when it came to making this show and like what you meant to take away from it because it can't actually be well, you know, the Jedi are pretty shit. That seems like something that they... You know what I mean? Like, how are they going to resolve this storyline? What's it about? What are you meant to learn and take away from it? I guess I find it difficult to believe that they would actually come to the conclusion that the Jedi were just bad. Especially considering how much Disney Star Wars is, like, excessively relying on having Jedi in their media to the exclusion of any other parts of the Star Wars world that they could explore. That they would actually just wholesale come to the conclusion that the Jedi are bad and that Mei was good. I'm almost um, certain that they'll, the, the show will be like, hey, she, she did some bad things but let's not pretend it wasn't for some reason like the jedi really did fuck up there's been some people i've seen reactions and say this episode destroys the force forever when it comes to the thread stuff throughout the past several decades before disney took over there was a lot of different you know little cults or sects of people that viewed the force in a different way and referred to it as something else and maybe use some different aspects of it that feels to me like what this is with the thread every one of these people is going to feel like their version is the true way to follow it yeah i, but, I can almost dismiss these people as crazy cultists who have no idea what they're talking about now they're all um, dead <laughs> so, I mean, the, it, the bigger thing to uh, me is the anakin shit or the Force conception shit. If we are to believe that it was Palpatine slash Palpatine and other entities desperately trying to create the greatest, yeah, Plagueis, Force sort of entity throughout history, and through the Force manipulating it, they do create a form of life, but they had to be incredibly powerful. They only could pull it off once. I would call that not not uh, as controlled as they probably would like, right? It wasn't in a lab where they could actually it, test on this correct. subject. And the way the Plagueis novel went into great detail on this entire thing, and it's very interesting because Plagueis is obsessed with midichlorians and, the, and life and things like that, not only becoming immortal, but also being able to create and end life at will. So he's been doing like tons of experimentations over his entire life. Obviously, then Palpatine comes along as well. And as they're doing these things, they're trying to mani manipulate midichlorians. You almost get the sense that the way Anakin was created was not necessarily like intentional by them, but it was the force responding. 
to what they were doing, what they were doing, like these kind of very dark manipulations. It was the force responding to that and creating Anakin in kind. And that's why we talk about the chosen one, to be the one to put an end to that, to bring balance to the force after these very dark manipulations. To even say that they intentionally created Anakin like that really isn't yeah, yeah. the well, intention so that's, of the story. That it's so told. casually said in this episode that they created two force-sensitive human beings. There's a reason why you can't just establish that as true. It kind of fucks with how everything works in this universe. There's so much storytelling in Star Wars to do with cloning Force users. You can't, you, like, it uproots everything. It's like, oh, these guys figured it out in this settlement. They could have just been fucking producing shit tons of Force users infinitely if they wanted to. It's like, oh, okay. Guys, what if uh, May and Asha are a dyad uh, that was created why not? by them? Why not? Yeah, sure, why not? They might as well be. Kind they probably are. It. Well, I know how to make our OC special. That has, that's what's written all over this. One of my favorite lines, it stuck with me for ages, as you can tell, I kept asking about it, is like, you can't deny the right we have to, you know, address and test potential Padawans. So there's like dot 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 with permission. With your permission. Yeah. <laughs> like, with your permission, of course. You just be yeah, like, well, at that really point, right. yeah, you don't need a right if you're just going to ask permission. You uh, can't deny the right I have to have sex with you <laughs> as long as you give your consent. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking strange. About. And it makes the Jedi look stupid. But of course, like, I think this is this is just the beginning, man. The episode where we find out what the Jedi did to these people is going to be so much worse. It's I just don't imagine so they'll handle flaccid. it well. It needs to be so huge and it can't be. They don't have the the guts. It doesn't make sense. There would be protocol for this. They would they would send people who are diplomatic. They would probably do things akin to like the concept of a dowry, where it's like we're going to take this person, but we're going to give you like money and stuff in exchange for it. A lot of places that it might not even be an issue because being a Jedi is an incredibly prestigious thing. And for a lot yeah. of these people, being a Jedi means you get you go to Coruscant, you travel a galaxy, you have prestige. You you don't have to worry about food and housing. For a lot of like backwater tribes and small towns and rural areas that's like one of the best things that could ever happen is like oh shit our kid is going to be like completely yeah. taken care of and do great things across the galaxy and like this is what's best for our kid obviously i mean i don't know how deep they want to get into this concept of oh you're never allowed to visit your parents or whatever again i don't know how like they're they're, they're going to treat that because it's kind of the, the whole no attachments thing has just been, it, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. The whole no attachment thing to it, it is obviously the, the Jedi do have attachments to a lot of different things, to each other, right? And that seems to be fine. The people are fine with that. The problem is when you allow your attachment to someone to override the thing that you're actually supposed to do. To influence like your decisions, right. um, which is a, you know, obviously requires a lot of like in-depth discussion and nuance surrounding it yeah well, yeah you know? this is what i mean there's interesting things to explore a lot of people keep doing the um almost the cope of well the prequels have already done all this so how are you saying it doesn't fit and it's like the prequels did not assess the jedi as a, a force that arrive on a planet and kill everybody and steal children this is what i mean like i was always on board with the clone wars um tv show live action i know the the, the meme of like they already had one it was animated i'm just saying like the exploring more so the things you haven't explored yet yeah not wars. just obi-wan anakin clone wars made by a fucking yeah. retard like dave filoni <laughs> Uh, but an actual story surrounding all of the politics and all of the decision making and a lot of the upper level decisions and all of the things that are going on during the Clone Wars. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm annoyed by how there are a lot of really good stories you can tell that analyze and critique the Jedi, mm -hmm. but like we're never going to get them. Oh. That's the annoying thing. This is not going to be it. It's going to whatever it is, it's going to be really stupid. It's not going to be when, like a meaningful exploration of uh, the ideology of the Jedi and how it potentially clashes with other people's worldview. And like, how well does the Jedi deal with more complex, difficult situations? I highly doubt we're going to get it with this show. Oh, fuck no. The well, last and, time and Star Wars not. was willing to do anything like that was the KOTOR games, so... And then you see yeah, the actors they bring in who get to do fuck all, and you see the money they spend, which goes nowhere, and you're like... Ugh. All this on the episode six. stories imaginable. You know how it goes. Because KOTOR raises the interesting question of if people keep falling to the dark side, is there something wrong with the teachings? Is there something wrong with the teachers? Is there why are they Why there? are they choosing the dark side over us? Yes. What is it about oh God, this I would dark kill. side that lures people into it? live action mainline thing that's well written that explores the dark side as people who have an interesting point of view as opposed to strictly about power something more philosophical behind it right yeah like, like maybe it's well, it's a more volatile this, but natural path episode uh, she said that it's not about good or evil it's about power our and who's said. allowed to wield Boring. it was the words yeah. that she said this isn't about good or bad this is about power and who is allowed to use it. Which are and not women. Well, she yeah, she also said the scared of us. 
the 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 words she used claim in regards to how the Jedi teach this sort of shit, and it's just like, how dare you My... tickle at the the <laughs> concept that there's so much more here without actually having the balls to go further? What is her position on the Jedi's teachings? Tell me. My guess as to what she's meaning is that they feel like their interpretation of the thread that they can pull and alter the thread, but ultimately they're kind of like guided by this destiny where the Jedi are like to actively using the force to do whatever they want to do. If but that the force makes guides sense. them like <laughs> at this entire well, yeah, I understand. Well, yeah, where's well, the well, it should be. And where's that's where it the should be. But you where can even argue the... that during the prequels, and that's one of Qui-Gon's problems with the council, and that's why he doesn't get along with the council. Qui-Gon feels like the Jedi have gotten very detached from listening to the will of the Force and allowing it to guide them, and rather letting a lot of other things, including galactic politics, determine what their actions are. So that is actually like an interesting thing to get into if they yeah, didn't just we don't, deliver one line and go away. We don't hear rational dissenting voices. You never hear the, why should we listen to the Force? Just because the Force wants it, quote unquote, what does that even mean? Is it even good? Are the Force's ideas good or bad? And when it comes to the Coven stuff and it comes to the Jedi talking with them, the way that, where, where's the Jedi that says, yeah, we wield the Force to protect peace in the galaxy and we've kept things stable for thousands and thousands of years. Like, why don't you want that? And then we'd hear her come back and they'd, yeah. they'd like well, discuss think, it. Um, you, need a, you need a fucking dinner I scene. Come! Everyone, wait, 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 wait. You have Everyone's 40 minutes. minutes. Dinner. Like, 40 fucking minutes what, to what use. What do the witches do? What do they actually do? Like, what's their job? Like, what, what do they spend their day doing? They weave thread. Yeah. <laughs> And this uh, is the perfect, you know, it's like the you Jedi stuff. actually go out and do stuff. What do they mm -hmm. do? What what is well, it that they do? Are there more the of them outside that, of this fortress? Hmm. Well, the story that they've created here I thought it was is the last of perfect them. for allowing Jedi to speak to people who either misunderstand the Jedi or understand them and disagree with them. And from like a narrative perspective, because we're an audience watching this, it's an excellent way for you to have exposition that isn't exposition. We can learn about people's point of view, and it isn't just people telling people things they already know. It's actually in like a, a basically like a debate format over what will essentially be the fates of these two twins. God, the well, they don't use that. Picture the more a... frustrated I am by Jedi should have been in the mis potential. Well, the Jedi should have been in the entire episode basically. Agreed. Like it starts with the Jedi landing. And it starts with, oh, the Jedi are talking to Manosha, and then the psychopath witches are talking to Manosha, and then the Jedi, and then the witches, and they go back and forth, and they're kind of like a give and take, a push and pull, and maybe distrust develops, and there's some kind of third party, or somebody's there, or there's a misunderstanding, that, and it's a tragedy. And you don't have to paint either side as being fully good or fully bad, but two respectable, different you know, opinions on the force and the power and what it is and the philosophy of what is or isn't acceptable. And May makes her choice, Osha makes her choice, and they then they split. But we didn't get anything like that. Yeah, like, uh, imagine they, because I completely agree, they should have been here from the beginning. First scene could have been them arriving and they're alerted in the little forest after their stupidly overt scene of, you're nice to the animals, but she's not as nice to the animals. Uh, Which is weird because uh, it was Osha who's the one who was like, Am I going to get a lightsaber too? He's like, hmm. All right. Imagine I, was Soul was like meant? meditating, and then one of these sister people, which is maybe even Spiked Horn Lady, or maybe someone younger, sort of like scoffs at it as a thought of like, look at this fucking idiot thinking, thinking they know about the Force. And then you could have Torbin, right? Because he's a Padawan, so less, arguably less, uh, let's say, wise. You, they could have a back and forth. It's like, you think you... Think you like have a lock on of, of this this whole thing It's like well you guys don't you just pretend to and have them explore their actual like both of them being brought up in the respective cultures and how they're clashing and, well, and what they've been taught about each other you know well consider who would you send on these kinds of missions you'd probably send the same people over and over who can act as diplomats who can be yeah. charismatic who can do negotiations so let's say Sol was that person Sol would then be able to engage in a dialogue with these coven people to say we go all around the galaxy and we find groups of people who have their own take on the Force. You are not, in that regard, special. There's many more kinds of people like you, and this is a group and they think this. This is a group and they think that. Your group thinks this. And so he says, look, there's all of these different perspectives. It's not just us versus you. We're a way that is allowing all of this stuff to be unified together into one cohesive and productive force for the, you know, for good in the galaxy. And he's got this perspective of the galaxy is better if we can do this unification instead of this 
random disparate groups who don't understand the force and don't have the wisdom to be able to handle it like a bunch of wizards without a hogwarts or whatever it is i feel like we're writing a pretty good show here well uh, I, yeah um, yeah well that's it's it's just it's another star wars show and we you know off the top of our heads come up with ideas uh, and a lot of this just seems intuitive well, like you don't also, have to think very it, long it would give you an excuse to care more about these jedi masters as well because trinity and soul can share their stories they can be like look stop looking at us like we're crazy sentinel monsters that have come here to capture you we would just like you We've lived this life, and we can tell you what it means, and then you can make your choice. You know, give them a, not in the fucking Rebel Moon style, where they'll sit around a table and explain their backstories one by one, but more so, you know, someone asks, and then they're like, yeah, I came, I came from planet blah blah blah, and when they came... Can't Jedi link minds? So, a Jedi could be like, hey, Osha, like, I'll show you my experiences. I could just show you what it's like, and the Padawan could do this. He could say, look... I remember when I was here in, in your position and I was a bit nervous, you know, and my parents were kind of hesitant on it. You know, now they're super proud of me and I do all these good things and I can just like link my mind with you Vulcan style and we could use the force and you could like well, experience some part of like what I've gone through and I'll be like proof to you that this is great. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan, but is that Disney lore, the mind reading thing? Why is the force connecting us? I mean, um, we've already committed to it for this show, so... Well, I know, because well, you can detect feelings. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, you can certainly... So, in the past, decades and decades of Star Wars history, it's not as precise as, like, mind reading, but you can definitely get a sense, and you you can kind of... General like, what feelings. Luke Skywalker would do it would question people, and he would kind of, like, let their thoughts kind of, like, rise to the surface. And it's not like a word-for-word, word, I know exactly what you're thinking, but he certainly understands mm -hmm. the feelings and the, the gist of what people are, well, like are when thinking or lying about or whatever. The most specific Vader gets from Luke in Return of the Jedi is sister, right? He gets a general sense that that's what Luke is thinking about. But they've yeah, gotten yeah. it now so that people can just straight up read minds and see images. It, and and a lot of that's going to depend too, similar to what we saw with Watto or in Jabba's palace. There's different people, there's different species that yeah. make it more difficult for Jedi to have that type of effect or to even get any sense. There's like this consistent effort to denigrate the mysticism of the Force and turn it more into like a really generic superpower kind of thing. And anything that attaches it to some sort of wider philosophical framework or set of concepts that come together even very loosely and in a Instead very Instead of a field way, of like, study that people yeah. know, almost like it would, you get this in Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons, you get it in like Harry Potter, you get it in all sorts of things, you get it in Dune and all sorts of stuff. When you have like a magic system, people learn that shit. And so they discover the rules about it. There are ways of teaching it. There's a way of investigating it. It has, it, it, it essentially becomes, ironically enough, not magic. And it kind of turns into a separate supernatural science, in quotes. And so this idea that it's very wibbly wobbly, it can do whatever. These sorts of things kind of phase out of the general perception of these studies as time goes on. And it becomes just general knowledge that, yeah, this is just a force that exists in the world. You can study it. You can learn about it. It's predictable to a degree. And you can increase your power and knowledge in it and you can go to these places of learning in schools where they devote themselves to its study or you can fucking make people with it i guess on this weird planet who knows i guess just, there's some elements for that. factory style get them out there multiply get your get your team going because uh you're dwindling in numbers in fact you're all gone now <laughs> except maybe smilo ren who as we know from the trailer is going to take on what like 20 jedi at once at some point that's going to make I think that's sense. next episode Jesus. that would be my guess usually the halfway point there'll be some big crazy action scene so if you guys had a bet right now if it's just one of the people we've seen on screen who is smilo ren Horn Lady is what my best guess is. Yeah, lady. I agree. I agree. Horn Lady. Yeah, obviously we were thinking a lot about the guy in the apothecary last episode because he was like... I can buy that too. interesting things that he knew, but and he also was able to overpower May and, you know, just kind of the way he was acting a little bit that they conveniently didn't decide to read his mind, all that shit. And I, I think, I think like, they would be proud of themselves too because they would be like, look, he seemed like a weak little cuck man, but now he's actually the main villain. Oh, isn't that crazy? Like, now that we know May is alive, I, like, all you see are these witches in a fucking pile. I I think that any of them could still potentially be alive and just knocked out. I wouldn't put it past them to have 
what is it, Anasea, the lead black lady, whatever her name is. Yeah, it I could be. I, her, would, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if it was her either. I think the only thing that I think my brain is connecting that's not really worth connecting is, oh, she wears a mask to hide the fact that she's got horns or something. It's, it's like, the horn lady. I, I, but... I think it's the horn lady. They tried to show her to be a bit more hardline and aggressive, so maybe that's being channeled into like revenge. Like she well, seems so, like she'd want to take revenge or whatever. What you're pointing out there is genuinely where we should draw theories from because they're not subtle in this. They don't know how to be. They also very specifically want to subvert expectations. They, they've come out and said that, so I guess we'll see. We, well, the we funny thing be, is, we could be all... reading into what we're supposed to, or we could be. They're maybe they're just intentionally trying to not let us know. No, I, I agree with you. They're not subtle with distractions either. Like the stone room setting on fire was just to give us for a few episodes the belief that May set everything on fire. I Though, think that Master Torben feels bad now because he actually set sixteen little tiny fires all around <laughs> um, that resulted in the death of twenty people. 16 or is it gonna be or is it gonna be that like (laughs) when their misunderstanding happens he ignites his lightsaber and it hits like i don't know some fuel line that detonates the big reactor it'll be something like that probably i think they're going with a misunderstanding because there's no way that someone would do something it might even be like a disney mandate to be like you can't show the jedi as psychopathic murderers you just we're not gonna let you do that in this show we have a vested interest in the jedi being kind of cool well but at that point Torben shouldn't have killed himself. Yeah, they, they, they should just be... can't make the situation messy enough to justify that. Maybe there's a misunderstanding about the misunderstanding. It's layers. We got to do layers. That's all you have to do. The misunderstanding has a misunderstanding. I suppose uh, speculation right? is kind of pointless because we don't know what the fuck they're going to get up to. We'll just have to wait until next time. I'm reminded of Arcane, I guess, because it's in all of the <laughs> you know marketing right now. But I'm reminded of Jace and all of the pretty inarguably bad shit he ends up doing in the pursuit of doing the right thing. That's the sort of thing they seem to be trying to angle for. But I don't believe in disney style was to have we any know teeth, nothing so. about torben nothing yeah. i say that as if we know so much about soul but really we don't he's just guilty he's sad he's guilty that is his character friendly. because you know to make fun of him and summarize him would be like yeah he feels bad about some history that happened it's like but there isn't anything else what else is there? It's the actor. It's the only thing you've got mm-hmm. to actually feel like there's more happening. And it would be like, you're only three episodes in. It's like, that's fucking 40, 40, 40. You could do a lot with that, or 40, 30, 40, whatever. Three episodes it's a movie. a short amount of time. Yep. That, that, that's a fucking movie right there. Mm-hmm. It's so painful. And it, and it only cost them, uh, what, $70 million so far? <laughs> <sighs> uh, all right, that's it. Acolyte episode three, it was awful. Bye. Acolyte episode three, <laughs> yeah, shit, terrible bye-bye. garbage. See everybody. Bye. Hope Bye-bye. you got enjoyment when we didn't. I think they probably did, just a little bit. We're gonna kill ourselves like Master Torben when it's all Woo! done. We're gonna take CGI poison. Green poison for and everybody. And then we're gonna be like, oh wait, this isn't real. I don't actually die. I guess we're not gonna find anything. Uh, how are we gonna get out of here? We'll dig our way out. Come on now, dig up, stupid. What'd you bring me?